Hey guys, I am YouTuber Victoria McLean and today is all about divinations with mist and magic. <laughs> Today we have got the fantastic latest box by Mist and Magic which is all about divinations. If you don't know what divination means it's fortune telling and uh, I really have some telling stories just for you so if you'd like to see what's inside this amazing box then keep on watching. If you would like me to bring some mist and magic to you, then make sure that you subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit the all important notification bell as well. Let's get started. Now I have a confession to make. This is the second time I'm filming this video, okay? I don't normally go back. Um, after doing an unboxing for a video, I don't normally go back and do it again. However, I deleted the first half of the unboxing on the computer. You know how much trouble I've had this week with my computer, right? Well, it just carried on today. So I've got myself almost identical to what it was when I filmed it first. Uh, my hair is a little bit more curlier than you will see later on in the video. But this box is so worth doing, I'm filming it twice, right? Twice. I should tell you something, okay? Okay? So today I am using my fantastic glass wand from the Disneyland Paris Park. Handmade just for me by Enchanted Mysteries. It is full of stunning crystals, all handcrafted. Okay, solid glass, solid glass. It's glass, my eyes are starting to water already. It's glass and it has, as my tattoo states, it has always and three stars etched into the glass as well. This is one of my favourite items from Char from um, Enchanted Mysteries. And uh, as I always say, I'm going to put it back because it's glass before I break it. So I have got a fantastic box for you from Mist and Magic. For full disclosure, this video has been sent to me for free. Thank you very much, Mr. Magic. I have always loved your unboxings. They are so magical. So here is the box. Yes, I already know what is inside it, um, unfortunately, but I tell you something, I'm that excited about it. I don't mind filming this twice, <laughs> but it'll teach me, won't it, to check my memory card before I put everything in the recycling bin and then empty the recycling bin like a tweeb. So this is the box, Divinations. Now, Divinations is about fortune telling. Now, I was really into Divinations when I was younger, apparently when I was in school with somebody called Lee back in like, you know, when I was like eight or nine, I read his tea leaves and told him he was going to become very wealthy with his own business. And uh, he messaged me um, a few, quite a few years back and say, Victoria, your prediction came true. I own my own tractor business and I earn a fortune. I was like, why couldn't I read those tea leaves for me? That is so not fair. But he's doing really, really well and I'm really pleased for him. I have no idea what I did or how I did it or anything else like that. But I'm very pleased that that little kind of fortune -y bit came true. So even though divinations is very much about fortune telling, we've obviously heard the word divinations previously. Um, but it has been around for hundreds if not thousands of years. Now there are some items in here that do date back that far. Maybe not the actual item, um, but the idea of the item itself. So there is no kind of packaging on top of this because obviously it has been opened before. So I am gonna show you what's inside. I love their boxes. Right, so that is it. Trust me, when I first opened it, right, it was all beautifully wrapped and everything, which you will see in later on in this video because half of the video is original. <sighs> I tell ya. I tell ya, it's a good job. I love what I do, isn't it? Right, okay, so the first item I'm going to show you, I'm very excited about, okay? It is a prophecy orb with a twist. I bet, I bet you have never seen this presented in the way it's presented. What I love about Mr. Magic is their packaging. The packaging is always so beautifully done. I absolutely love this item so much and the packaging to go with it. Now it was wrapped up very carefully inside but unfortunately that all went in the bin. <laughs> well duh. Um, so we're going to try it again. But uh, I love it. So the first thing I'm going to show you is this part. 
actually I'm going to show you it all in one go let's just do that because I think it's so much easier because this is one of my favorite items in this box but I love it you get a little stand in a gorgeous little gold yellow bag okay so there is the stand there okay and then here is the orb it is an actual bottle potion bottle but it's meant to be a prophecy like a like a like a you know crystal ball telling your fortune how stunning is that and i love the gold and green colors it's very very mystical and beautiful and a lovely little label as well to go with it i love this item this is one of my favorite items in this box it is so brilliantly done and so well made as well i love this look at that isn't that gorgeous swirly 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 love it love it love it let's put this up here now nifflers behave i know it's got gold in it but do not have it yet please i would like to at least look over it one more time before you boys pinch it I have got some news. I went to Slimming World this morning and I've lost half a stone. <laughs> I've lost half a stone. That is absolutely crazy. I don't know if you guys can see it in my face, right? But I do feel like when I'm doing my thumbnails that my face is looking much thinner. Um, and, and it's still got a long way to go. I've still got like another two and a half stone to go. But I'm getting there. I am, no, it's not 14, 13, 12. No, three stone to go. I've got three and a half stone to go. I'm very, 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 very ecstatic, excited, excited. I'm not ecstatic or excited. I'm excited. That's the word of the day. Excited or excited, right? Excited. That's it, right? Subtitles. Excited means I'm overly excited and uh, ecstatic. So I'm very happy. I've actually, I'm actually on my weight loss journey. I'm doing really well and I feel amazing at the moment. I feel very, very proud of myself. So yeah, I'm doing all right, I'm doing all right. Okay, so the next item, which I absolutely loved, this was all wrapped up beautifully and it's now not, but it is kind of wrapped up beautifully. So in a little kind of packet, I had this. Okay, so we've got a little kind of little fabric thingy there, right? Little fabricy thingy there, okay. And then inside the fabricy thingy, okay, was a little little red bag with something in it. Now this is really cool because I used to do this when I was younger. I don't know if you guys know what it is. Maybe it didn't look like this when I was younger. I just asked it questions and it depended on which way was it was swinging was the answer yes or no. But this is velvet. It's a beautiful velvet fabric. It's very, very pretty. Um, this is gorgeous. They always also use this uh, in some kind of places. Is it like gypsies or something use this to tell whether you're having a boy or a girl? Um, whether you're, ha you know, you're, when you're pregnant, whether you're having a boy or a girl. And inside the little bag is a beautiful tiger's eyes, pen tiger's eye pendulum. So what you would do is you would place this on a flat surface. Okay, my hand isn't exactly flat, but it's the best thing I can do right now. You'd kind of, you'd make sure that the pendulum, and you kept your hand very, very, very still as possible, and you would ask it questions, and whichever way it swung was your answer. And so obviously swung one way for a boy, one way for a girl. I'm not pregnant, don't panic. Um, and it would tell you yes or no, or a different kind of, uh, maybe it's got here, but um, it would tell you what was what. So... A lot of people kind of used this as a way of kind of getting it's almost like a magic eight ball but with a pendulum and a tiger's eye so this was what I would use it's very hard to do it when you're talking because the hand you can't keep your hand as still as you'd like but uh, I love these things so I'm definitely going to give that a go later but I love the fact that it's it looks like a real tiger's eye maybe it's not a real tiger's eye but I like it and I like the fact it's own its own little baggie and this beautiful fabric little kind of table as well. So what I really, really am shocked at, right, is because a lot of you are in the US, is you guys have got like Ouija boards and things and you can get all sorts of Ouija board things. We can't do that in the UK. We can't get stuff like that for, for the UK. It's really weird. 
I'm actually disappointed because I'm I used to be a paranormal investigator that's how me and my husband met because I've I've grown up with like paranormal stuff I've grown up with ghosts and uh, the weird thing is is that I would do these kind of obviously these paranormal investigations um, and then we'd have like a medium come in and they do like a, a Ouija board or like table tipping or glass swirling or scrying and uh, it was really kind of fascinating this take the Ouija boards never worked with me as soon as I joined a Ouija board nobody wanted to talk it was like she talks enough for everyone I ain't touching that you know that sort of attitude you know made me feel really welcome uh, but uh, you know it was really fascinating um, between me and my husband we've actually seen quite a few spiritual things um, I don't really go on about it because it's like you know it's I grew up in a haunted house I, I grew up as a kid like being frightened of my stairs and you know all that sort of that sort of jazz if you haven't seen that um, video of mine then you need to check out the link above I did it a few years ago for Halloween uh, be prepared don't watch it with the lights off okay and have the sound turned down a little bit all right it does get a little bit bumpy and children best stay away from it yeah um it does have a little warning on it because it's a little bit scary uh, but I uh, yeah I've had a whole history of this sort of thing and my mum was very much into like seeing auras and things like that she was very she was quite a, a strong uh, lady who could sense quite a lot she was very very powerful she could stop watches and she could start watches and things like that she was really good at all that sort of thing and she really was fascinated by all this kind of angel stuff and and I, I kind of went along with it you know but growing up in a haunted house, it wasn't exactly something that I could ignore. Uh, they made sure we didn't ignore it. So it was very kind of, very, a very kind of colourful uh, childhood <laughs> with ghosties and stuff. Um, so all of this sort of thing is like, this is normal to me, you know, this is normal. So I really like the fact that this box is dedicated to our original um, kind of divinations, you know, hundreds and hundreds of years of history of divinations. Um, look at Harry Houdini. Um, after he passed away his wife became obsessed with trying to reach out for him so she spent hundreds of thousands of pounds or dollars um, trying to um, reach her husband through all these mediums who literally used her for her money and didn't really care about her and were frauds um, but she really did kind of uh, do it as like a regular thing where she would try and contact her husband because she missed him so much and I think Queen Victoria as well didn't she have a history of something like that um, because she wore black obviously after Albert died she wore black for the rest of her life and um, doesn't necessarily mean she was into all that stuff but it is fascinating it is really fascinating and the whole story of it is amazing looking at like your like um, the history of divinations is, is so amazing it's so clever these items were beautifully wrapped up in a gorgeous box and everything but they're not anymore I am so sorry I have just looked to see if this is actually still on there and it's not so I'm going to show you them now but here we have beautiful posters now what I love about Mr Magic is their posters they do there was one they did not long ago and oh my god it's somewhere in a in a box over there the 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 paint picture with it was almost like a real oil painting of this an alchemist it was just amazing so their posters are beautiful so this one is invoke the gift of foresight this poster is and it's just really 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 wow this with this eyeshadow I look like I've got the gift of foresight you know it's a bit sparkly um but that is really really pretty I love the the this kind of writing they do down here it's almost like elvish uh, from lord of the rings it's very very beautiful but this is almost like a canvas, this material, this uh, this um, paper, it's really, really beautiful. It says, this spell will grant you the ability to predict the future for a time. Beware of what lies behind the curtain of fate. Please say it's the lottery numbers because that would be fantastic. Uh, draw the sigil using holy thistle ashes to protect, um, for protection and light five white candles on each circle. When the blue moon is high in the sky and shining on the pattern drawn, place some incense of wormwood in the centre of and let the powerful energies channel into you to bring you the gift of foresight. I so need that right now. All right, yeah, I need that. I'm just ordering that. Is that okay? Yeah, Amazon got it. Yeah, I've heard that. Brilliant. I'll have it next day delivery, please. Right, so this one is my favourite out of the two. This one is beautiful. Now, what I love about Mr. Magic is the detail of foiling they put on their items. Look at that. 
how beautiful is that to like to, to frame and put in like a dark area of your house and then every now and again the sparkle of gold will shine through love it love it love it look at that beware the house of the old blood creatures of the night the city will flood on one fateful night a spark will set ablaze the fire in their heart and the rage in their gaze that which is forbidden shall be awakened old magic will surge victors forsaken is that right the path to darkness shall be taken alone deep in the shadows of the corrupt blackened throne that is so cool and what i love about mr magic i don't know how many times i could say their, their name today mr magic um just just in case i've forgotten do you know it's a mr magic box did you yeah it is wow uh, it is an amazing box um what i love about this is they really do go through their research as well they really look into like the old ways before and everything is original everything they do is original it's never been done before there's not many boxes a year but the boxes they do are outstanding because i wish they did a box every month but i think the quality of their items would degrade and so i'm glad they only do a couple a year because it makes each box that much more special if that makes sense so i love their work so much so let's get started and opening the box it's that little bottle Oh my god, is that a little bottle? Oh, it's a tea aqua bottle! It's so cute! Oh, apparently this is called my third eye. <laughs> Honestly, my eyesight's so bad, I can't buy any more glasses, right? <laughs> Two eyes are bad enough, okay? Can't buy a third one. So there we have, it says third eye. That's hilarious. Um, but I see what they mean. They say that your inner eye... Um, that you can use to kind of... Your sixth sense, if you like. So... That apparently is supercharged crystals just there that is very pretty I love that but what I love about Mr Magic are their boxes because the boxes are always so beautiful and everything is always so beautifully presented I said that with some force didn't I they're beautifully presented because they always are they always go above and beyond their items that their, their ideas and they really are exquisite so then we have a uh, a moon card. So we have a moon card, foiled box. Okay, not sure what this is, never heard of it. It is a pin badge. Oh, wow, look at that pin badge. That is so beautiful. I should have guessed because we've had pin badges from Mr. Magic in these boxes before. And it says the moon on it. That's very pretty. It's double pinned, double backed, very sparkly indeed. What a lovely pin badge. They do really take time doing their boxes and I think that's what I really like. They don't rush them to get them out every month to get the money in sort of thing. They really take their time with their boxes. Oh wow, this is heavy. Arcane Oracle, is that right? So again, we have this one, this box. Is that Arcane Oracle? Is that how you say it? beautiful foiled box so let's have a look what's inside what is that what is that the raven are they cards oh they're like tarot cards are they i won't do them because <laughs> now in my life they'll tell me i'm doing something wrong they are they're tarot cards well they're a form of tarot cards so these ones this is what shows them so there's not many of them so it shows the cards that side and then if you look the other side it shows more again so you have the phoenix the crown i'll have one of those please the moon the sun the balance the maze the cauldron the raven the arcanist death the dragon the sword the serpents the quest so yes, very much like tarot cards. So very, very different. So there they are, all beautifully wrapped up in ribbon. Look at that, isn't that stunning? I love the shape of them and I like the back as well. The back's very kind of mystical. Very, very cool indeed. So we will have a look at the next item. So we have the Occult Emporium 
prophetic dreams potion i can't read that you know me and my reading i'm useless but this is the box so this is obviously a potion bottle of sorts again look at their beautiful packaging and i love the purple that they use they use it quite often in their boxes channel the power of the hidden world and travel to other lands through your dreams this blend of powerful dream inducing ingredients has been proven to enhance precognitive abilities and transport minds to a state of consciousness capable of predicting the future i will have some of that please with the lottery numbers if that's not too much trouble i will definitely have that with the lottery numbers i so need to win win the lottery right now but i think everyone does don't they so so here we have the bottle all beautifully wrapped up because they really do love their items to be well looked after well wrapped up well presented oh my god i can't even see this bottle properly and i'm already loving it oh my life oh Bottle. Do you know I can't remember the last time I had a potion bottle? I love this bottle. So here is the bottle. Look at that gold coin. Just reminds me of Pirates of the Caribbean. <laughs> I love it. That is so gorgeous. So beautiful. Look at the gold. The gold's kind of swirly mixture. It's almost got a, like a bluey tinge to it. Like a gold with a tiny little bit of blue. That is so stunning and then on the side there it says Prof prophetic dreams potion prof prophylitic prof prophylit oh gosh you know me i can't read them but that's what it says on there but, oh my life this is so beautiful this is so beautiful i love the fact that it's got that gorgeous charm on the bottle that is stunning look at that that is absolutely beautiful right i'm going to put that back in its box i love that and i'm going to move on to the next thing you know it's going to be very very hard to pick a favorite out of this box so then we have we have the the wizards checklist just here but i'm not going to open that yet because we haven't finished i love these magazines they do these magazines the uh uh, 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 uh I can never say this word. The Arcanist issue 2138. They do these beautiful magazines inside their boxes. Oh my God, there's more again. What on earth? Oh, right, okay, so I'll show you the magazine in a minute, but we've got some more things. Unveil pure your future. So we've got an envelope here with a sticker there saying unveil your future. And let's open. So we have a the pocket guide to reading tea leaves. What did I say earlier about reading tea leaves? So <laughs> we have the pocket guide to reading tea leaves. Oh my god, that's so good! I love it. And knowing Mr. Magic, they've probably really done the research as well on all of these because the art of tea leaf reading has been around for hundreds and hundreds. Is it thousands of years? been around for a long time so what's in this little pack so we've got a little pack of something so i'm opening it now they look like cards they are cards okay so we all got all foil in again book of omens so we have a gorgeous foiled card there and it says it's on the back it's got a list of things there then we have book of omens on here one for sorrow two for mirth three for funeral four for birth five for heaven six for hell seven for the devil his own self they're magpies are they at the bottom there that is so pretty and then there's that one there of the moon i assume it's the moon look at that shine the black moon it says there look wow i love that that's definitely something you want to display isn't it wow i love 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 right so i'm putting that down so we haven't finished we've got something else in here as well okay you ready what's 
さはい。I love stargazing. I am a proper nerd. I really am. Me and my kids love going up to see the stars. Adam actually bought me a beautiful telescope not long after we got together. That is absolutely brilliant. And it shows you. So you've got the stunning pictures there. Look at the foiling on that. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh, that is stunning. And then on the back, it says how to use it. Underneath that, that is stunning. Northern. So I would point that way. Because that's north for me. Western horizon, eastern horizon. That is absolutely stunning. So where, where are we at the moment? We are in May. May the 11th. Can you believe it? That's crazy. So we're in May. We are about there. So that is what the sky looks like for me outside. That is absolutely beautiful. I love that so much. Okay, so then we go to the Arcan Arcanist. So we've got this gorgeous magazine here, which I love with all these like tales and things inside and like little adverts. It's so beautiful. It's like a wizardry magazine, but uh, in the 21st century, but it's just so beautiful. It's what they would have had, you know, back then. What was that? The horoscope of 2022. Let's see what mine is. So look, where's mine? Kelpie, according to this. Some ups and downs will test your ability to remain calm. <laughs> See, I'm reading my mind. Um, perhaps force you to face reality more than you are used to. You ad adapt very well to change, however. Do I? <laughs> so the challenges in your future won't come close to stopping you. Some strange opportunities might present themselves or unpredictable changes might fall onto your lap just enough to keep you on your toes. Like Monica telling me she's taking me to New York in August. So that was my horoscope. It talks about uh, runes there as well. Best teas for divination. I love that. Monica's fate and Monica's starting to like lemongrass tea. We had it when we went for tea at uh, Drury Lane in London and she's liked it ever since. So this is such a beautiful, beautiful magazine. I've got quite a few of these. As it got smaller, it feels a bit smaller than normal. So then we move on to our wizard's checklist. So we have Mist and Magic Divinations Box Contents, Prophecy Print. So that would be the print that I showed, is that right? Yes, Prophecy Print. So I think that's that one there, is that right? Then we have the Prophecy Dream Potion. That was so beautiful, I loved that. Then we have Gift of Foresight Manuscript. So is that, no, that's that. <laughs> Gift of Foresight Manuscript, and I think that would have been the first one. Is that right? I'm not sure. I can't, I can't, I, I'm, I'm not good. Um, Prophecy Orb Potion. Loved that so much. Look at the colours now, it's stopped. Look at it, it's like tiger's eye. It's so beautiful. Pendulum, which is in this with its cloth little pattern as well. Arcane Article, uh, uh, Oracle, sorry. That was, where's that gone? That was those cards there. The pocket guide to reading tea leaves. I love that. that I'm, I'm ready for it now then, there we are. Monica with her lemongrass tea. Third eye amplifier crystals. That was them in that little box there. The moon tarot pin. So that was that little box there. Collectible cards. That's those ones. Celestial map. That is there. Loved that. The Arcanist magazine, which I just shown you as well. So that was their latest box. You guys always smash it out of the park. Not knock it out of the park, smash it out of the park. This box was amazing, but what was my favourite item? I don't know. 
I really don't know. There's so many. Can I have more than one favourite? Am I allowed to have more than one? I'll have, I'll have more than one. Right, I'll have more than one. Okay. I think this one, this is one of my favourites. My little prophecy ball, my little potion. I loved that. That was lovely. I love the fact that it's a potion bottle. That's so lovely. Then I think it's got to be the pendulum and the little, the little thing that you put on the table because I've never seen anybody like, I've never seen that before. So that's really lovely. And I really love the idea of that. And I do, I did used to do them a lot when I was a kid. And then I think I've always loved the magazine. I love the magazine so much. I love the celestial chart. That is just amazing. And I love this print. This print is just beautiful. And I think I love everything. I love the, the collectible cards. I think they're fantastic. There's so much I love. I really love. I love the 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 the, the, the thingy dream potion. I love that. So it's actually very hard for me to pick one. So let me know in the comments below what did you think of this box. This is one of my favourite boxes from Mr Magic. This has been absolutely beautiful to go through. And I love all the shiny stuff. You know me and my shiny stuff. I love my shiny, shiny, shiny. But thank you so much Mr Magic for sending me this box. I will put all the links down below for you. Let me know in the comments below what was your favourite item. Until next time, take care. I love you all and I will speak to you very, very soon. Bye-bye. Want to check out more of my content? Take a look at this video right here or this video right here. Don't forget to like and subscribe.